We can use the fundamental rule of proportions to solve any proportion. But for this to work, we have to make sure we build our proportion correctly in the first place. If we're given a proportion, all we have to do is cross multiply and solve it. But if we're given a small word problem like this, we have to make the equation ourselves. And in this case, that means making the proportion ourselves. For every three students, we need one computer. We have 81 students. This type of problem can be easy to figure out just using logic, but you have to show your work in math. So, building the proportion is the way of making the equation and showing your calculations. This is called a direct proportion. A direct proportion is a more means more situation, or a less means less situation. In this situation, if we have more students, we will need more computers. If we have less students, we will need less computers. That means it is a direct proportion. And this is how you judge the situation and make sure that it's direct. For a direct proportion, this is how you build it, so that you will be sure to get the right answer. Put the two numbers with the same unit on the left side, smaller number on top. I'm looking at my situation, and I see I have two numbers that have students as their unit. Three students, 81 students. So I'm putting them together on the left side of my proportion, with this smaller number on top. Putting them on the left side is not mandatory. It's just the way I do it, because I like to have a habit of building my equations the same way every time. It makes me stay organized, and it makes me make less mistakes. Putting a smaller on number on top is the same. I like to do it that way. I always do it that way, and I make ma less mistakes that way. The next step is, the remaining number goes together with one of the first two. Now we have to analyze our situation. We can see that for every three students, we need one computer. It's clear that three students and one computer go together in this situation. So therefore, since the three is on top, I'm putting the one on the top. They're together. I put the x in the last remaining place, and then I use the fundamental rule. I cross multiply and I solve. Three times x equals 81 times 1. This simplifies to 3x equals 81. And then if I divide both sides by 3, these cancel. My x is isolated. And it is equal to 81 divided by 3, which is 27. The final answer to this problem is we will need 27 computers if we have 81 students. So make sure to give your answer 27 with the unit of measure, which in this case is computers. This is how we use the more means more or less means less analysis to make sure we build our proportions correctly and get an answer that makes sense. In this second example, we need six cups of cereal for every five cups of marshmallows for a recipe. We only have three cups of cereal. How many cups of marshmallows do we need? Is it a more means more situation or is it a less means less situation? In a recipe, if you use more cereal, you're going to need more marshmallows. In this case, we have to use less cereal. We're going to have to use less marshmallows. It's a less means less situation, which means it is a direct proportion, and we will build it using these rules. The two numbers with the same unit are the 6 cup cereal, 3 cup cereal. We put them together, smaller number on top, and then the remaining number goes together with one of the first two. The 5 cups of marshmallows, obviously in this situation, goes together with the 6 cups of cereal. So the 5 and 6 have to go together. This time, that means putting the 5 on the bottom, because that's where the 6 is. The x goes in the last remaining place, and then we use the fundamental rule of proportions to solve. Top times bottom gives 3 times 5 equals bottom times top, which gives us 6 times x. This gives us 15 equals 6x. And if we divide both sides of the equation by 6, these cancel. Our x is isolated. And 15 divided by 6 is 2.5. We just have to put the unit of measure and we're finished. 
What we are looking for is an amount of cups of marshmallows. So it is 2.5 cups of marshmallows. First we have to recognize that we have a direct proportion and then we use these rules to build our equation so that it will give us the right answer every time. 